And that's what we did. That's what we're doing. That's why we pray. Mm. Wow. That, that video. You pray. You, that's how we, we pray. pray. If you look you at the video. Make it today. I remember dancing yeah. to that when you I was younger. You look at that. You'll see me and uh, Hammer's cousin, Jimmy, my best friend, partner at the time. We going in the alley. And we finna fight. I got a gang. He got a gang. Oh, yeah, we pray. pray. And Hammer stepping between us and pushes us apart. We need to pray just to make it today. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Am I talking too much? No, keep going, on, man. So, me and my partner, Jimmy, was there. He's like, man, don't worry about it. We gonna get it. So, Hammer said, hey, man, he's taking out my numbers and everything. He's all my information, Benito. Give me about two more months, you know what I'm saying? The tour will be over. I'll be back in Oakland. And uh, I'm gonna bring you to California, man. Put the studio. I'm gonna do records on you, bro. Don't even worry. I got you. I'm telling you, but my word is bun. I'm like, okay. I'm talking like Hammer now, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, he gave me the numbers and everything. I called him one time just to check. Didn't get no answer. I said, oh, he ain't answered the phone. Okay. Anyway, so my partner, Jimmy, and his cousin, come on a brilliant idea. Look, this is what we're going to do. Since we MC Burrell and Benito, we're a group. We're going to go to California and, and see. Because they back out. I talked to Chris the other day. This guy back out to it. They back. So. How long after you went back home till you decided to get up and go? How long of a time about was two, it? About two and a half months. Two and a half months. Because see, was, Gremlin's homecoming was running in November, I think. It was October, November. You know, they didn't change it around now, though. Mm -hmm. But so we had two more year, two more months before the year was over. Okay. So in January okay. of 1990, I got with him in 89, but I really got with him in 90. Mm -hmm. First of January, my partner said, we gonna ride this bus to Cali. He's gonna tell us yay or nay or send us back to Arkansas. Let's take our chances. I like your buddy. Huh? <laughs> I like your buddy. Man, I swear for God, I, I, I say, okay, Jimmy, what's up? He said, how much money you got? I said, I don't know, probably about $200. He said, try to get 500. I'm gonna have 500. And then we took two of our partners with us. What did your mama dancers. say about all this? Your mama let you go? He grew. Yeah, she, I mean, she was like, you gonna stay in school or what? I said, Mama, I wanna pursue this because if I if I play football, I may take a chance of getting hurt. I might get hurt. You know what I'm saying? Because I see a lot of people's knees get messed up, especially linebackers, because the linemen and whatever, they come for your knees every time. Mm -hmm. You know, you gotta protect your legs. So I didn't want to doubt that I was good. I said, either I'm gonna be a professional football player, Mama, or I'm gonna make it in this music. She said, okay, that's what you wanna do. So all our parents took us to the bus station. We got no buses, man, drove to Cali. This how good God is on my life. So it was a day and a half ride, two days, got to Cali. That morning I got to LA by 6.30 in the morning. My cousin picked me up. Me and my other partner, partner was dancing with me, went with me to my cousin's house in uh, 109 Lamoli over there in Inglewood, oh, right, behind, right behind Morningside <laughs> in the hood. Jimmy and uh, our other partner, Ronnie, they went on up to Oakland to his uncle house. They said as soon, this is how quick it happened now, the same day. When they got off the bus, everybody at the bus station had a big old commotion going on out there. They like, what's going on with him? Like, yeah. He said, MC Hammer shooting this video down the street. I said, MC Hammer? He said, man, that's, that, that's who we looking for. They got off the bus and go down the street, down to where they was, Hammer shooting. Uh-oh, 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 uh -huh. uh -oh, uh -oh. here comes the Hammer. Uh-uh, 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 Killing it. He was doing it, right? He said, walked up, said, cuz, what's up? He said, Hammer turned and looked at him. Oh, what's up, Jimmy? My partner that was with him, the dancer, told me, he said, man, you should saw the look on Jimmy's face. I said, what you mean? He said, the next word coming out of my mouth is, what Benito at? Damn. He said, Jimmy look crazy, like, oh, he in LA? Call him, here, take my phone and call him. The old, old school banana yeah, that, phone. Yeah, the brick phone. The brick, the banana. You left an impression on that man. Yeah, yeah, he said, what Benito at? Hammer called me, he said, yo, let's speak to Benito. My partner answered the phone, he said, man, somebody wanna speak to you, Benito. I said, okay, what's up? Hey, what's up, you know this hammer? I said, huh? Who? He said, hey, MC Hammer, man, who you think it is? I said, Hammer, what's up, baby? What's cracking? What's up? You know what I'm saying? He's like, yeah, yeah. He said, but you know, where you at? I said, I'm in LA. He said, hey, check it out, man. I'm coming to the senior hall show in two weeks. Don't get in no trouble. Stay cool, stay where you at. Don't, man, please don't get in no trouble, man. I'm coming down. I'm gonna get you, take you back, bring you back up to Oakland, put you in the apartment, get you in the studio. Babe, we gonna, hey, we gonna make history, baby. I like, okay. Okay, cool. So I say, okay, two weeks? He said, yeah. He said, matter of fact, what you doing this weekend? I said, nothing. We just sent it to us. I said, can you come to Oakland? I said, I don't know. Hold on a minute. I said, cuz, can we go to Oakland? He said, yeah. What, what's up? He said, come on up to Benito. He said, um, I'm going to give you Padilla and everything. Put you and your cousin in, in a hotel. I said, who? What you say? You don't even know what Padilla is. I said, what's Padilla? <laughs> he said, man, it's money you get. You know what I'm saying? When you, don't worry about it. I got you. I got you. That's my first time ever hearing Padilla. Yeah. Right. I know what it was. So we went up to Oakland. We got there, just like Hammer said, 
Met with the manager, whatever. He put us in the hotel. We came to the set, and that's when we did. That's when we're doing. That's why we pray. Mm. Wow, that, that video you pray. You, that's how we you pray. pray. If you look you at the video, make it today. I remember yeah. dancing to that when you I was younger. You look at that, you'll see me and uh, Hammer's cousin Jimmy, my best friend partner at the time. We going in the alley. And we finna fight. I got a gang. He got a gang. Oh yeah, we pray. pray. And Hammer stepping between us and pushing us apart. We need to pray just to make it today. He stepping between us, keeping from fighting. We face off. You know, I got a hot top fade back then. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was still cocked. This, you look at that. That boy's a linebacker. I said we pray. Oh yeah, we pray. We need. Anyway, um, we also did. Um, they were shooting the move for uh, Reverend Pressure and all that stuff in the church, and uh, doing another scene. So later on in the day, uh, we sit on the steps, and now that the film man was out there filming. And that's when I signed the part about, uh, Ham, I want to thank you for being in your crew and thank you for putting me in the, in the crew or whatever. And uh, Ham was like, yeah, 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 yeah. And then he said, took a break. Ham said, hey, everybody, whole posse, come on in. Everybody come on around, y'all. I'm going to let y'all our newest member to the, to the posse, baby. And he's like, okay, cool. I'm looking around like, who the new member? I, I was real, real, Didn't even real know. humble and modest, man, because country, don't know better. You know what I'm saying? Didn't know better. Okay. Okay. So, okay, let me get it right. Anyway, you go. I um, it get out there, and uh, Hammer said, "Yo, everybody, I'm gonna let y'all know a new singer, baby, and this boy is cold blooded. He from Arkansas. His name is Benito Posse. Welcome, Benito, to the Posse." They like, uh, okay, hey, clapping and stuff I'm like, yeah, okay, whoa, whoa. Some of them looking sour. Yeah, <laughs> and some haters in the group. Yeah, yeah, he's looking me sour. You know, like. Who is yeah, oh damn, you done found another damn artist because mm -hmm. he already had like More eight, nine, ten artists already. So. I was happy as hell. And uh, my partner Jim said, oh, hold up, wait a minute, you know, you ain't saying nothing about me, cuz? What's up? He said, cuz, I'm gonna tell you now, man, I, I got enough rappers, man. So, you know what I'm saying, I, I'm signing Benito as, as a singer. Signing to the label, he gonna be a singer for me. And um, you know, I, I'll get your job working in the studio or something like that. He said, nah, man, we're a crew, man, we're, we, we crew, and we're together, man, we came in together, man. You just gonna you ask me out, cuz? He said, man, I'm telling you, I'm signing Benito. So, this, it sounded so damn fast, it was kinda, kinda tricky. Uh, Craig came behind me, tapped me on the shoulder, said, huh? He said, you, you and your cousin come here right quick. So while Hammer and him was talking, he took us off and took us in his room and, and uh, set a paper in front of me to sign on. I didn't know what the hell I was signing. I was just happy to sign it. I you didn't, didn't read, read it? I didn't read none of it real quick. I looked, that's what's this right here. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute. You just took the paper when he gave it to you. You damn right. You never looked at anything didn't on look it. Didn't look at nothing on it. Did you ask any questions? Yeah, yeah, I asked him. What said, did you this? ask? He says, you signed it to the label. He said, this ain't the actual, actual contract. We're going to get a big contract later. This right now is just saying that you signed it on to bust the records and you're going to be a new artist. And you didn't okay. even say for how much? I didn't ask no questions. Just happy to have the just opportunity. Just happy to be a country nigga to be from Arkansas to be with Emma. Mm -hmm. So I took the paper and I signed it. So Craig's like, okay, cool it. Okay, we got everything we need now. When you come back, we're going to give you the big contract. Had a big contract ready for you to sign. So, you know, you can get your lawyer to look at it and all that kind of stuff. So I said, okay. Cause what, I said, just a consignment thing. It's not like a signing bonus. You sign on, I ain't get no money right then, but it's cool. So it's okay, cool. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.